Hello and welcome to another edition of Points of Interest, Winnemucca, Nevada. Winnemucca is in the heart of cowboy country on Interstate 80 and is known as the Crossroads of the West, just 167 miles east of Reno and 367 miles west of Salt Lake City, both on Interstate 80. Due north is Boise, Idaho at 267 miles. Whether you're traveling northbound or southbound on Interstate 95, this video will highlight the points of interest between McDermott and Winnemucca, Nevada. Just 73 miles north of Winnemucca, we will take a southbound approach with our first stop in McDermott. McDermott was born a Calvary town in 1865, and the community is steeped in both Indian culture and cowboy history, and historic structures are just waiting to be explored. The 1890s jail sits in the middle of town with its steel bars intact. In its early years, the White Horse Inn had the Oregon, Nevada state line running smack dab through the middle of the restaurant, so patrons would order their food and pay for it on the Oregon side as to avoid the Nevada sales tax. The Say When Casino and Restaurant is a favorite stopover in McDermott, as well as the Desert Inn Casino, Bar, and Restaurant. There's a couple of gas stations in town, two motels, an RV park, and a great hamburger place that also has an ice cream parlor. Let's head down the road, three miles to Fort McDermott. It was in operation for 24 years, making it the longest established army fort in the state of Nevada. Fort McDermott is on the Paiute Shoshone Indian Reservation. You will be making a left turn on South Road to get to Fort McDermott. For the next leg of our itinerary, keep heading southbound 26 miles till you get to the town of Orvada. Orvada is known for its excellent hunting areas and breathtaking views of the Sawtooth Mountains. Orvada is a ranching and farming community with a full-service gas station and mini-mart. They also have an RV park with full hookups and a motel. It's a rocky view in. They have a bar here with slot machines and their pizza... Pretty doggone good. Continue south 12 miles to Highway 140. I hope you brought your fishing gear, camera, and sense of adventure as we're going looking for opals at the Royal Peacock Opal Mine. Make a right turn onto Highway 140. 65 miles up the road is Denio Junction. There's a gas station, a motel, and a restaurant with really good burgers. Make a left turn to stay on Highway 140. Go 25 miles, check your odometer, and look for the sign Virgin Valley Campground and Duff Arena ponds. There's a total of nine ponds here with swimming and fishing. The Virgin Valley Campground has a warm water pool, enclosed showers, and an outhouse. This is a Sheldon National Wildlife Refuge, so while driving these back roads, you can expect to see deer, bighorn sheep, wild horses, and several species of birds. So I hope you brought your camera and binoculars. There's a ranger station just a mile up the road, so stop there for more information. Now let's continue on the road. It is 10 miles from Highway 140 to the Royal Peacock Mine. You're going to pass several mines on the way here. So feel free, stop in. They all give you that opportunity to strike it rich. The Royal Peacock Opal Mine offers guests a chance to mine their own opals. All you find are yours to keep. These opals came from their mine, but are opals worth anything? You bet. How about a 169 carat stone called the Black Peacock? It sold for $45,000 and now resides majestically in the Smithsonian Museum. And it was found right here at the Royal Peacock Mine. The Royal Peacock is a fee mine, so make sure you stop at the gift shop to sign in. They do have a 17 space RV park with full hookups. The Royal Peacock Opal Mine, what a ball, a definite must see. Okay, it's time to head back to Highway 95. Turn around and go your 10 miles back to Highway 140. Make a right turn towards Denio Junction. When you get to the junction, make a right turn to stay on 140. And continue on 65 miles till you get to Highway 95. Make sure you get gas out here as often as possible. Okay, we're turning right and heading to Paradise Valley. It's a total of 12 miles to get to Highway 290. You will be making a left turn. There's a gas station on the corner, so you can't miss it. Nine miles up the road, we're coming to the Stonehouse Country Inn. This is a lovely three-story country home that's surrounded by cottonwood trees. So relax and enjoy the scenic beauty of the area or their wonderful home-cooked meals. The Stonehouse Country Inn even has a place for your RV or your horse, depending on your mode of transportation. Go to their website for more information. Continue another six miles up the road and you will have arrived at Paradise Valley. 
This charming hamlet of picturesque farms and ranch lands is the gateway to the Santa Rosa Mountains. Large cottonwood and poplar trees are nestled among the historic buildings, some of which are relics of the town's mining history. When the mining boom faded, Paradise Valley became the agricultural hub for the mining camps of Nevada and Idaho. Paradise Valley is far from a ghost town. They have a post office, the Paradise Valley Bar and Grill, good burgers, and an RV park. If you're seeking solitude, peace of mind, and fresh clean air, Paradise Valley is the perfect trip. Next up is Hinky Summit. When you drive through Paradise Valley, when you get to Bridge Street, make a right turn just as you get the other side of the bridge. You're going to see this sign. You'll be making a left turn onto Hinky Road. Now, there's a lot of switchbacks on this road, and it's all dirt, so we highly recommend a high-clearance vehicle. If you're towing a trailer, we definitely suggest a four-wheel drive. Now, Hinky Summit is Forest Road 792 out of Paradise Valley. This is a beautiful scenic drive through the center of this entire area. In the spring, beautiful wildflowers can be seen along this drive. In the fall, you can see the leaves on the large stands of aspens turning to bright yellow or dark red. The views are really spectacular from the top of Hinky Summit. Okay, it's time to make our way down to Winnemucca, Nevada. Go back down through Paradise Valley to Highway 95. We'll be making a left turn and going 22 miles to Winnemucca, Nevada. When you get into Winnemucca, your very first stop will be the Winnemucca Convention and Visitors Authority. This is home to the Visitor Center, and you can pick up all the information you need on what there is to see and do in Winnemucca. Winnemucca always has something going on. This high desert crossroads offers 24-hour gaming and a multitude of recreational opportunities. And with over a thousand hotel rooms, we're sure you will find the place to call home while you're on vacation. We invite you to go to Winnemucca.com and explore what this thriving community full of adventure and good times has to offer. There's plenty of videos as well as listings of all their hotels, events, and restaurants. Thanks for joining us on the points of interest between McDermott, Nevada and Winnemucca, Nevada, the crossroads of the West.